So it seems that uh, not all 1602 LCD displays are exactly the same and I got caught out recently uh, with this power supply. This is the ZXY 6005 uh, DC power supply and I mainly use it for lighting up LEDs so you can switch on the LED there. Um, what I like about it is that when it's on you've got volts, uh, amps, watts and milliamp hours all on the display at the same time. It's all adjustable. But um, as you can see the very last column here um, on this particular one wasn't working and still isn't and uh, I could have made a big fuss to the seller but I didn't bother. I thought well let's have a look at these 1602 LCDs and um, they're very cheap. They're sort of about £1.50 at the bottom end and that's including postage. So I thought, I know, let's just replace it. So let's pull this one off. And the blue ones are about the cheapest. So I thought I'd get a nice blue one. Let's switch that on again. This one's uh, white characters on a blue background. And then of course I got interested in all the different colours that were available. So I thought, what else is available? And I saw this, actually, I saw this nice red one or at least it looked nice so let's put that one in um, one of the things that was different with this is oh you can barely see that and that's the problem with it actually yes it's just about there but it is extremely dim um, this one has two rows of connector pins one row at the top as normal and another one down the bottom so it was obviously slightly different um, they're both parallel and they both work fine, or at least it works fine. Uh, the other thing was the holes in the corners weren't three millimeter. They looked like they were about two and a half, so they had to be drilled out. But it's very dim, this one. It's not very bright at all. It was quite bright when I first put it in, but that was because the LED backlight on this unit has no series resistor. Or it has two series resistors, actually, but they're both uh, zero ohms. And... Um, Shortly after I switched it on, a whole load of smoke started coming out of this little inductor up here. It's a hundred microhenries. And what transpired is that uh, because there's no uh, limiting resistor on the LED backlight, it was drawing probably an amp or two. And the uh, device in the line of fire there was that little inductor. And of course all the enamel burnt off. I mean I rapidly switched it off when it happened. But um, I then had to decide, uh, it, it, was, it was sort of worked after that, but it was very flaky. Uh, clearly the inductance of that thing had dropped to virtually nothing, because all the windings had shorted out. So I thought, well, the only thing I can do is rewind it. So you can probably see, or perhaps not, that it's now wound with far too thick cable. Uh, so it's much fatter than it should be. But it works. It, uh, it's probably only about 50 microhenries, or it certainly won't be a hundred wound like that. But it does work, and uh, where the chip was getting warm uh, with the burnt out inductor, it's now cool. So it's just a cautionary tale, really. Um, be careful with these 1602 LCDs. Certainly check that the backlight has um, resistors or enough resistance to uh, not blow up your power supply. Um, they're not always uh, compatible and uh, certainly cheap isn't always the best option.